hello friends welcome to my channel smci next and uh, in this video into the abdominal anatomy we are going to discuss about one important muscle what is the name of the muscle external oblique muscle the origin insertion and uh, nerve supply and some special points we are uh, going to learn in this uh, video so first of all uh, the name itself suggests external oblique so it must be situated most externally yes it is situated most externally into the abdomen means into the muscle it is most situated outward side okay fine and the oblique which itself suggests the direction of the fiber the direction of the fiber are not straight they are a slightly oblique in direction so the name itself suggests two things when the muscle is situated most externally into the all muscles and the direction is a oblique now let's learn uh, the origin of this muscle and uh, attachments of this muscle so here you can see the muscle which is blue in color let's highlight it very good now we will isolate this muscle yes now see uh, from where this muscle has been originating so anatomy must be seen so you should see the things and add the terminology insights and you will automatically get the answers and the things are automatically remembered so let's see uh, let's count the ribs here from where it has been originating yeah it is originating 12 11 10 9 8 7 6 5 okay so the it is originating from to the fifth to 12th ribs so you can also say the word it is originating from to the lower eight ribs yeah from 5 to 12 or lower 8 ribs but into the ribs where this is originating so if you uh, see this uh, 3d image then you will come to know that it is originating from to the not just from to the most anterior part of the rib or not from to the most posterior part of the rib it is originating actually we can say mid part of the rib mid shaft part of the ribs and from to the outer side yes it is originating from to the outer side perfect let's discuss the direction of this muscle fiber so muscle fiber direction is uh, if you put your hand into the pocket into the your pant pocket yeah so the direction what will be the direction so direction will be it must be downward the direction is uh, medially and uh, it is a backward or forward so actually the direction is the forward perfectly so downward forward and the medially it is not laterally it is medially it is forward it is not backward and it is a downward and it is not upward so uh, that's how you can remember the direction of the muscle fiber that is the downward forward and the medially okay fine now what is the insertion of this muscle what is the insertion of the external oblique so it is inserted through the aponeurosis from the aponeurosis you can say that uh, uh, from to the zippered process then the linea alba then pubic symphysis then pubic crest pubic line and a pectineal line now let's remember uh, some important topics about the external oblique muscle so we'll also see into the book also so let's do origin is uh, that is arising from to the eight ribs lower eight ribs okay that's fine insertion we have also told that it is having a broad aponeurotic structure and it is inserted from to the zippered process linea alba pubic symphysis crest and that pectineal line of the pubis okay fine now uh, the another one insertion which is remaining uh, that is onto the hip bone onto the hip bone uh, there is the ilium onto the ilium where these are uh, external oblique is inserted so onto the hip bone if you remember there are two segments of the iliac crest anterior side it is known as the ventral segment posterior side it is known as the dorsal segment onto the ventral segment it is having also three parts of the iliac crest outer lip intermediate area and the inner so this external oblique is inserted onto the outer lip of the iliac crest or you can say anterior two-third actually the ventral segment of the iliac crest is a two-third and the dorsal segment of the iliac crest is basically one-third so yes it is inserted onto the anterior two-third of the iliac crest and on that part also outer side outer side perfectly 
because uh, the another two muscles internal oblique and the transverse abdominis they are inserted onto the iliac crest but they are intermediate area and onto the inner area they are their, their attachment is uh, inner than this uh, external oblique perfectly now let's uh, see the nerve supply so nerve supply you just remember lower six thoracic nerves this six thoracic nerve you can also tell it a uh, t7 to t12 yeah that is also perfectly right so this external oblique muscle is supplied by which nerves then you just remember lower six thoracic nerves so here you can see that these nerves are coming and piercing the external oblique muscle and they are supplying this muscle now what are the special points to be remembered about the external oblique muscle so one of the most important point is onto the lower part if you see here there is an external oblique muscle is there and onto this lower part between the anterior superior iliac spine and the pubic tubercle yeah you must have heard about one ligament which is known as the inguinal ligament and this external oblique aponeurosis actually that lower part lower fibers of this external oblique aponeurosis they bend on itself the lower most part they bend on itself and forming a one ligament and that ligament is known as the inguinal ligament so between the anterior superior iliac spine and the pubic tubercle so pubic tubercle is the lateral to the pubic symphysis and between the pubic symphysis and pubic tubercle there is a one structure which is known as the pubic crest so from the pubic tubercle to the anterior superior iliac spine it is a situated now another second most important thing which you need to remember about external oblique is it is forming a one opening uh, we will discuss the inguinal canal so here on to just a superior to this pubic crest means medial to the pubic tubercle here it is a situated it is drawn like that but it is not a, a semi lunar in shape it's a triangular in shape opening is there so what triangular opening is there it is having the medial pleura and the lateral pleura and this opening is known as the superficial inguinal ring which is also known as the external ring so external oblique aponeurosis onto the most midline it is a forming a one opening and that opening is known as the superficial inguinal ring so these are two important structures inguinal ligament and this a superficial inguinal ring is present inside the external oblique aponeurosis the another thing which you need to remember about this external oblique aponeurosis is it is forming a it is a forming a anterior wall of the rectus sheath yes so rectus abdominis muscle is situated inside and it is a completely covering or you can say it is forming the anterior wall of the rectus sheath so now supply and everything we have seen yes and we have seen that it is forming the inguinal ligament it is a forming a one opening that is a superficial inguinal ring now if you want to know what is the action of these muscle fibers so all the abdominal muscles fiber they are actually help in the forceful expiration process they are helping into the bending of the abdomen they are helping into the side to side movement of the abdomen so we will uh, these uh, uh, forceful expiration that will increase the pressure inside the abdomen and that will help into the coughing <coughs> then defecation then micturition even parturition so in this process is also these muscles help so i hope you all have understood this muscle thanks for listening